Hello everyone, this is Ishwar Dhyar Mato and in my last video I have shown extrude option and today I am going to show you its application. So let us get started. First we go to preferences, then sketch, then uncheck this uncontinuous auto dimensioning, ok, then go for insert sketch in task environment take anything and go for a sketch so first of all i am going to make a circle Then one line. I'll just define its diameter. And define its angular value. So take this edge. 110 and this is 320 like fit on screen Take one line Do it horizontal this time and just trim it like that now go to finish sketch and extrude this up to 15 mm now Again, go for sketch in task environment. Select this face, click OK, and draw to circle. Finish sketch. Now again go for extrude and select these two profile and extrude it up to sixty. Click OK. Now go for unite curve and unite this. Now go for pattern geometry. Select the body. Go for helical. Then specify the direction. Z direction. Specify the point. Point will be this. 
and um, increase the number of count let us take as 18 and angle take 25 now click apply Now it is OK. Go for cancel. Now we have to create tube in this features. So go for insert curve and studio spline. Now while you're making this, you should see that this arc center will be highlighted and just click this like that we have to do for all this pillar so we are done now we need one more helical path for the second pillar so for again go for the option insert curve and studio spline select this point now click ok so we have done helical path now go to the insert and here go for spline option sorry sweep option and here to select tube and select this path and uh, define the diameter let us take 20 apply expand this Here the multiple seg segment click on single segment and now again go for this go for single segment and click OK if you want to decrease the diameter you can do it let us take 15 click ok and go for insert design features here is here select this point and I define the diameter let us take 30 click ok Now again go for insert design feature sphere select this and get the diameter so we are done for one support now we will do for the second for, for the same procedure so first of all go to the option tube here select the path and here single segment diameter will be 20 click ok so let us take diameter as 15 click ok 
now we have to keep this spherical end to bat just zoom it select the point define the diameter 30 it is okay if you want to decrease it let us take 20 decrease also to it 20 at the last end we have to also give one sphere click this and define the diameter as 20 click ok So we have made the ladder like structure. So this is a total profile. If you want to do rendering of it, you can just do it. Go to the option render style. Sorry, true setting. If you want to change some material, you can also do it. So now go to shaping tool. Take it here, rotate it, now take new. Save it. Now yeah, desktop. Minimize this. Now go for capture. So this is how you can make the steer in SolidWorks software. One thing I have forgotten to sell this part. You can do it before going for the helical pattern options. So thank you for watching this video guys. If you have any suggestion or query related to that then please write in my comment box. If you really like this video then please give thumbs up to it and do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a nice day guys.